your host, Jake Smith. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to our semi-final round of our 2019 Federation Rodeo Challenge. Tonight, we have brought back the top six Cowboys in their chosen disciplines tonight as they look to qualify for tomorrow night's championship round. Well, the pressure is certainly on. Every ride, every run, every score is crucial here tonight. The Cowboys, they await patiently behind the chutes. Our best bucking stock in Australia await patiently in the chutes. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if I could please ask you to be upstanding for our Australian national anthem and performing here tonight is Paige Peters. Australians, oh, let us rejoice, for we are young and free. With golden soil and wealth for toil, our home is good by seas. Our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty, rich and rare. In history's page, let every state advance Australia fair. In joyful strains and let us sing, advance Australia fair. Beneath our radiant southern cross, we'll toil with hearts and hands to make this Commonwealth of ours, renowned of all the lands. For those who've come across the seas with boundless place to share, with coverage let us all combine to advance Australia fair. In joyful strains and let us sing, advance Australia fair. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's semi-finals time tonight in our Federation Rodeo. And we welcome into the arena the RM Williams sponsored pickup riders from Upper Hort, New South Wales, Peter and David Kelly. And of course, our Canadian Entertainer of the Year, eight times selected for the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas. Please make him welcome, Danny Holstead. Hey, buddy, how are you? Man, Outstanding. Look at all the people we got here. We need to get them started right out of the chute. Everybody ready? Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! That's what we want to hear. All right, you've got them set tonight, Denny, as we get set to welcome our first competitor in the arena tonight in semi-finals time. This is Billy Blacker from Charleville, Western Queensland. 71, 74 and 77 on his three horses this week. This is Turn Me Loose tonight in the competition. Come on, cheer him on! Oh, what a way to start the semi-finals off tonight for the boy from Charleville. As Mr. Peter Kelly puts him on the arena surface, folks. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, the boy from the country town. Oh, yeah. Give him a hand. Charleville tonight. Welcome into the arena once again, our professional rodeo judges this year. Dale Carter from Jerry's Plains, New South Wales. Stuart Frame from Monto, Queensland. Hey, Holstead, what about this? 81 championship yes. points. All right. What a way to start. Hey, he's over here, pickup man. Well, 81 out of a possible score of 100 points. <laughs> this is like getting my wife out of a shopping center right here. Well, lucky we've got the two best horsemen in the country to take control of the situation. Uh-oh. This horse is like Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> it doesn't want to go back to the pen. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Man, look at all the people. This is going to be a fun well, night, We've got Jake. a packed house here on Good Friday. We'd like to... Uh, Happy Easter to everybody out there here from the Cowboys from the country that have come down to Sydney here this year. 
As we're getting set to welcome our next competitor in the semi-finals, of course, we bring back the top four competitors tomorrow night for the championship round. Here we go. It's Ben Hall, Tumbarumba, New South Wales, Black Andrew. Here's the horse that he has drawn here tonight. We welcome back our rodeo producers, the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company, along with Rick Wilson, who brings us this next big feather-footed gelding, Black Andrew, Ben Hall, the champion from Tumbarumba, New South Wales. Oh, that's the form that's seen him win two rounds this week in the Federation Rodeo. He won round number one, round number four, and take a look at the size of that horse. <laughs> and he's on the arena surface safely, safely the champion from Tumbarumba, Benny Hall. Come on, give him a hand. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, right here, buddy. Right there for you. All right, it's 76 here tonight for Hall tonight, seven and six. Two. This is electric. This is a great round of bareback riding we're watching as we get set to go to Travis Wheatley. Travis tonight has drawn high gain, Roses Wild. This, uh, this is the first of the horses we've seen here from the Gill Brothers here tonight. Travis Wheatley, the ABCRA all-round champion cowboy at the NFR Rodeo in yeah. Tamworth in January. One tough customer. We will see him compete later on tonight in the steer wrestling. Here is a man from Dubbo here in New South Wales. That's right, he's from New South Wales. Come on, cheer him on. Man, Whoa. these guys have come to ride tonight on this Good Friday, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Travis Wheatley puts on a clinic tonight. Oh. And that great man from the <laughs> Gill Brothers Rodeo Company, High Gain Roses Wild. Delivers Oop. here tonight as the judges come through. 1 to 25 for the Cowboys riding style. Further 1 to 25 for the bucking style of the animal athlete up beneath him. Oh, yeah. Two. 79 tonight for the boy from Dubbo. Okay, Dennis, we're going to go to Jack Kidd. Jack Kidd. One of the all-round nice guys. Now, Jack comes to us from Croydon, North Queensland. Oh, Queensland. That's right. Anybody here from Queensland? We've got a couple anybody here, here the Sydney from, stand. Anybody here from New South Wales? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. It's Cadillac Cowboy, the horse that he has drawn here tonight. Now, Jack won last night. He put a great demarking of 79 points on the board from our two professional rodeo judges. Two years ago, he was awarded the Australian Rookie Bareback Riding Champion. We've watched this kid uh, really uh, come of age in the last two years on the Australian rodeo scene each and every time. He enters the rodeo arena. He is just getting better and better every time he steps up on these uh, high-class horses that we're seeing here tonight in our Federation Rodeo Challenge. And he likes a challenge. He huh. is one tough customer. Man, look at all the people, buddy. We've got a great crowd Let's tonight. Let's see where the rowdy sex. Any, where's everybody? Let's hear you on this side. Not bad. <laughs> Pretty weak. How about on this side? Let's hear you. Oh, now that's good. Oh, the Sydney Royal stands right tonight. Okay, try you again. Let's hear you. There you go. That now was better. you're coming. That's it. That's now you're the way coming. to go. Yeah. We keep the energy in the house tonight for Jack Kidd as he uh, works his hand into that suitcase rig and oh, the toughest sport on the Cowboys' upper body. And he is getting set to take on another high-class horse, Cadillac Cowboy, as the pressure is on for our champions tonight in the semi-finals of our Federation Rodeo. Let's see what the boy can do here tonight. He's got a good, solid horse, and Jack Kidd is putting on a clinic tonight. Oh, that is what's taking him to the highest level on the Australian professional rodeo circuit. David Kelly will slide forward there. Their job is to get the Cowboys safely onto the arena surface. And he's on the ground now. Come on, folks. He can hear now. That is Jack Kidd. Oh. 75 tonight for Jack Kidd from our two professional rodeo adjudicators, Ooh. 75. Hey, Jake, you know what we need to do now? What do we need to do now, Holstead? We need to get everybody together here. You know what we need? What do we need? Let's get a clapping song. Let's see if we uh, get them sounds clapping. Sounds good to me. Trevor, give us a clapping song. Come on. Come on, everybody. 
Come on, everybody. Here we go. 77 hold. To make your hands clap. Awesome. Outstanding, Halstead. They're ready, buddy. They're ready as we go to Harry Ash, the man that spent the last four years in Odessa, Texas, shaking all over. This the is going to be a crowd participation night. It certainly will be. He was second in round number one. He won round number three here back on Monday evening. Harry Ash, the man that uh, has flown the Australian flag proud in the United States of America. He attended college for three years, and now he Junior. resides full-time in Odessa, Texas. Let's see what he can do tonight. He's a good, solid black horse from the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company. Harry Ash is trying to get as many points as he can from our rodeo judges. And that great style is showing again the man from Odessa, Texas, but born and bred here in New South Wales. Whoa. Folks, there it is for your local boy tonight, Harry Ash. Hey, I could be wrong, but it would probably be a lot easier to get off on the back of that horse, kiddo. Seventy-six points tonight for the kid from Odessa, Texas. As we take a look at back on the replay tonight, seventy-six from the judges. All right, it looks like we're going to move to the final bareback rider, as he is the man with the last shot to come back for tomorrow night's championship round. We bring back the top four boys from the whole entire week. We go to Ross Dowling from New Zealand, from the North Island, and it is Diva. The horse okay. here climbs aboard from the Rick Wilson Rodeo Company. Now, Ross Dennis, yep. he's actually a bank manager. This guy is a bank manager? He's a bank manager, believe it or not. Really? Yep. I wonder if he's got any money we could borrow. We might need some. I got none left. Neither do I. I'm only a broke rodeo announcer. What do you mean? You're, you're not even married yet. Yeah, yeah, but I'm still doing it real hard. Yeah, well, I'm married. My wife spent everything I got. Everything. I told you she lost our visa. I never reported that the thief spent less than she did. <laughs> you told me that as we go to the boy from New Zealand. Let's see what he can do. Keep riding, Ross. Come on, hey, cheer him on. pretty stylish tonight here in our giant stadium. Ross Dowling and that horse, a little mare from the Rick Wilson Rodeo Company tonight. Diva, we've seen a buck at all the major rodeos here in Australia. And the Kiwi Cowboy is up for that eight second requirement. Boy, they come to ride tonight, buddy. They certainly did, Dennis. Numbers okay. coming through here tonight, and it will be 77 points for our Kiwi Cowboy. You look at that, Jake. Not one guy got bucked off tonight. Outstanding. Both horse and rider done us proud tonight. And we got some of the best horses in Australia right here. The best. Here. The best. You guys need a hand? I'm an animal expert. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I have in my main arena the winner of our semi-finals here tonight, Billy Black Blacker. Congratulations, Billy, all the way from Charleville in Queensland. It's the uh, first time that I've actually caught up with you this week in Sydney. Great ride again tonight, Billy, in these semi-finals. Thank you. No. And, uh, Bill, uh, you come to us from a little place in Queensland, Charleville. This is your first time here to the Sydney Royal Easter Show. How are you enjoying the experience down here? Oh, it's unbelievable, mate. Just a big crowd. Um, yeah, great atmosphere, eh? Well, congratulations on the win tonight, Billy, and we'll see you tomorrow night in the championship round. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Billy Blacker, oh, yeah. our champion tonight with 81 points. Hey, I got a bone to pick with you. Me? Yeah, you. Why? What have I done? Because I heard you up there with Lindsay and, and Tim and them doing the interviews. Yeah. And I heard what you were saying about the rodeo clown. Oh, you'll have to jog my memory. No, you said that we weren't that smart. Yeah, I did say that. that that's didn't why I? you rodeo announcers get more money. But I, I'm a rodeo announcer and I only tell the truth. No, and you got all the answers, right? Yep. Okay, if you're so smart, I got a few questions for you too. Fire them away. Okay, if carrots are so good for your eyes, why is there so many dead rabbits on the road? Well, that's a good point. Exactly. When a plane crashes and they find the black box, why wouldn't you make the whole plane out of that material? I don't know. See, exactly. See, you're not that smart. Jeez, you have got me on the back and foot And you know tonight. what the one that really gets me the best? 
What? You ever see where you do your drive through banking and there's ATM machine you can drive through and do your banking? Yeah. You ever look at the keypad? There's Braille. There's Braille. Blind people shouldn't be driving. <laughs> That's why blind people don't skydive. It scares the heck out of their dog. <laughs> well, well, we're going to move to the steamer. Stop laughing and I do your job. I can't concentrate now. You've put me off. Well, that's not hard. <laughs> we're going to move to Lane Mansell, the 19-year-old steer wrestler from Goulburn here in New South Wales. <laughs> oh, and good. tonight, Lane is riding his uh, horse, Chief. Now, we've watched Lane come out and win round number three. It's his first year competing here this year at the Sydney Royal Easter Show, and... Uh, he is so happy to be here in our competition. His elder brother, Joel Mansell, is a man that uh, rides along as his hazer. The 19-year-old champion from Goulburn. Come on, Lane. Lane down tonight. Oh, yeah. Give him a hand. Oh, yeah, outstanding. It's been a privilege to watch that young man really growing stature here this week in Sydney. And the number's coming through. It's a 7-1 and one tonight, Holstead, for that 19-year-old oh, cowboy. I don't have time for you right now. That doesn't happen very often, Jake. What? Right there. What? Check out the blonde hair girl right there waving at me. A blonde waving at you? Right there. You see her? I can't see her. Second row right up there. Oh, yeah. Now I see her. Hello, darling. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, sound guy. <laughs> hey. It hasn't been that long. Turn it off. Make me look good. Make me look good. <laughs> Are you serious? He chose the right music for you anyway, Holstead. You and the sound guy must be hooked up. You were yesterday's hero. What do you say to a guy with an IQ of 20? I don't know. What do you say? How long have you been a rodeo announcer? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't say judge. All right, we're going to move to Glen Chape, the boy from Corinda, New South Wales, a small little town just outside of Walgett here in New South Wales. Our... Uh, Glenn tonight is riding Brody. Jack Hedlund is a man that'll slide alongside him as he's hazy to keep that steer running. There's the man that won the opening night here on Saturday evening. Glenn Shape. Yeah. 2017, Glenn was awarded the Australian title. And it's a five flat here tonight for Chape. Five seconds neat. Yeah, the times have come through on the big screen. You. I'm sorry, I'm just having too much fun. Oh, it's, it's just that night, isn't it, you, Dennis? Hey, pickup man, that's not funny. Hey, pickup man, you don't know this. I put three people in the hospital. You what? I put three people in the hospital, pickup man. You put three? Yeah. Don't look at the size of you. I did, three people. I don't believe it. Maternity ward, that's a different <laughs> story. Okay, we get set to welcome our next competitor in the time event box. It looks like it will be Travis... Wheatley. Well, we watched Travis compete in our previous event, the uh, Bareback Competition, where he marked a marking of 79 points. Travis Wheatley. And here tonight, he was a uh, 4.8 to run second in the competition behind Jade Smith here last night in go-round number six. Jack Hedlund once again is doing the hazing duties here tonight. Of course, the fastest time wins. It is steer wrestling at its finest, where the guys leap off a galloping horse onto the back of the steer. <laughs> Which, which doesn't make sense. I know. It just uh, does not make sense. We've spoken about it throughout the course of the week. It's so tough on the guy's body. Whoa, whoa. And hey. Wheatley from Dubbo was never Whew. quite in position here tonight, Holstead. Are you all right, buddy? You're going to need to pull your boxer shorts out because they're in a thong position. <laughs> See these big guys? They walk back like they're so cool. Yeah, yeah cool. And really, they just, yeah. want, they just want to go like this. <laughs> hey. You better be careful out there. <laughs> Hey, I'm not afraid of that guy, buddy. You, I'm, what? I'm married to something three times bigger <laughs> than he is. Okay, so unfortunately, no time. The pressure is certainly on here tonight in our championship round. And we are getting set to go to our next competitor from Willow Tree, New South Wales. It will be Heath Nichols. Well, Heath's recorded times here this week of 6.2 seconds, 7.2 and 5.9. Toby is a horse that uh, Heath rides. We welcome back here once again tonight Joel Mansell, who's been doing a wonderful job hazing for all our steer wrestling competitors this week. Joel, of course, is uh, currently out due to serious injury, waiting for a uh, knee uh, replacement at the completion of the Royal Easter Show. And Joel is uh, riding a hazing horse that goes by the name of Slate. That horse has been awarded five times Australian uh, 
Hazing Horse of the Year, Heath Nichols oh. is Australian all-round champion. And he won the current title in 2018. And it's great to have him this year at the Royal Easter Show. And we wait for the times to come through. As we said back on the replay here tonight, Hick Nichols gets a nice fast running steer. The champion wastes no time and it will be a 5.1 here tonight for Heath. Oh yeah. Does it get any better than this, buddy? And this goes tomorrow night, we have the finals. The championship round. We bring back the top four, so in each event, two guys will be eliminated. Yeah. And then we're back for that top four tomorrow night. Oh, that's going to be good watching, too. And that's where over $80,000 in prize money will be paid out here tomorrow night. $80,000? That's right, nearly as much as that uh, a rodeo clown gets. Okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm really overpaid, I am. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I'm here for meal tickets. <laughs> And look at me, look how skinny I am. Oh, no, you have not put any, I reckon you've walked it look all off this week in Sydney. <laughs> I'm so skinny I can't even set off a sensor at a urinal. <laughs> well, it's Matt Headland's turn, the oldest of the Headland boys from Juni, New South Wales. And Matt tonight is riding a horse that he bred down there on his property at Juni. This is Texas. Texas. Well, uh, this horse is, uh, comes from a strict breeding program that the Headland family run down there at Juni, and it's... Uh, Really great to have the Headland boys here at Sydney this year. Of course, his brother Jack will be the hazer riding the buckskin horse in a position. Let's see what he can do tonight. Matty Headland's got a tough steer. But the boy from Juni, he toughs it out tonight. <laughs> and a six and three tonight for Headland. Yeah, I'm getting a little on the skinny side. You are, you've lost some Nothing weight. Nothing fits. Now look it, I look like them young kids. This is how they wear their pants. Hey, yeah. are you? You what? are. You're fitting in real good. No, this is how the kids wear their pants nowadays. They do, I know. No wonder they can't run. <laughs> hey. What? Why do they do that? Oh, look. I Pull don't know. your pants up. And then this is the rodeo announcer right here. Jake, yo. <clears throat> I do not wear my pants like that. You got to undo your zipper to blow your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, Jake. What are you picking on me for? Because everybody else is busy. <laughs> I'm busy too. You're the one that was bad mouthing me in the I interview. Never, yeah, well, I, yeah, that's true. I did hear you. But I'm busy. You're, I am flat strapped. Oh, yeah. Pretty tough to talk in a microphone. <laughs> okay, this is a guy we're cheering yeah, for. Yeah, this is Jade Smith from Scone, New South Wales. And, of course, if you're with us here last night, he won round number six. Come on, buddy. He also won round number two earlier on in the week. One of the uh, more senior competitors now competing in the steer wrestling these days. Hey, let's just say he is the senior. He you, is the senior one. You said it, not me. I'm cheer Hey, I'm a senior myself. <laughs> and uh, the horse he is riding here tonight, it is Jet. Jade Smith, been coming down here to the Sydney Royal Easter Show now for 20 years, competing in the rodeo hey, competition. We're not saying he's old. No. All we're saying is when he went to school, they never had history class. <laughs> that covers it, doesn't it? That just covers the whole thing. <laughs> All right, let's watch Come him on, slide get up. Come on, Jade Smith. Well, he's going to hang oh, on, but unfortunately. Jeez. Oh, no. Well, I thought he had him covered here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But how about a round of applause for the boy from Scone here in New South Come Wales on, for his efforts? Come on. Here, I got this. Yeah. Watch the hat. Hey, pick up, man. Come and pick this up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that will wind down the steer wrestling here in our semi-finals here tonight. And I have with me our winner of our semi-finals, Glenn Chape, with a marking of uh, five seconds here tonight. Glenn, congratulations. I know the pressure was certainly on here tonight. Yeah, mate, thank you. Um, it's nice to get one done tonight and come back tomorrow for the big money. Well, I know you'll certainly be uh, looking to uh, win some of that lucrative prize money here tonight as he gets a little pat on the back from uh, Joel Mansell. Great to be here in Sydney this week. I know you uh, had a great start winning round number one. Was that a help to get the uh, momentum going here this week? Yeah, mate, it's a bit different down here on the grass for us and it is nice to get the confidence for the first one, so, yeah. Congratulations, Glenn. I'll see you tomorrow night, folks. There it is, our winner of our steer wrestling tonight. Five seconds goes to the boy from Corinda in Western New South Wales, Glen Chape. Oh, yeah. Oh, so how was your day? Yeah, I was pretty good, Dennis. You had a good day? Yep. Me too. What'd you get up to? Uh, trying to keep my wife happy. I took her shopping. You took your wife shopping. Isn't that nice of you? 38 years I've been married to her. 38. But what? you know what? I got to tell you a little story. What? Well, because we're both getting older. 
Yep. She's got a bit of a hearing problem. Oh, yeah, that's understandable. So there the other day I was out in the field in my tractor. Yeah. And the tractor broke down. It broke down. Yeah, and she was across the field on the porch. Oh, yeah, watching you. So I said, honey, the tractor broke down. I need a pair of pliers. Well, she couldn't hear me because she got bad yeah, hearing. Yeah, yep. So I did it again. I said, honey, the tractor broke down. I need a pair of pliers. And what'd she do? She still didn't hear me. Oh, still. So, so this time I screamed it. I said, honey, the tractor broke down. I need a pair of pliers. You know what she did? What'd she do? She went like this to me. <laughs> no, like this. What's that mean? Well, I ran right up to the porch. I said, I told you the tractor broke down. I need a pair of pliers. Yeah? She said, I told you there's a pair under the seat. <laughs> there was two pair, Jake. There was two. Ah! Well, we're going to move to our next competitor. <laughs> yeah. We'll do open our saddle bronc riding up here tonight as we're getting set to welcome Ben Lees. Be our first competitor. We welcome back into the arena our pickup riders, Peter and David Kelly. Ben Lees has been 76, 77 in his two rides so far in Sydney this week in the saddle bronc riding. Come on. First match up at his broken promise from the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company to <laughs> open proceedings up. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like your last relationship. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> ben Lees, the Twisted X sponsored saddle bronc rider from Denman here in New South Wales. Come on, cheer him on! Oh, he puts on a clinic tonight. He was awarded the 2017 Australian saddle bronc riding title. And look at the speed, the coolness, the calmness about that boy from Denman, New South Wales. Ben Lees is safely on the arena surface here tonight in our semi-finals. Our Federation Rodeo on our great big screen brings us back the replay here tonight. 74 points tonight for Ben Lees. Oh yeah. Well, what a great way to open proceedings in the saddle bronc riding tonight as we get set to go to Tim Hemmon from Tumbarumba, New South Wales in shoot number two. High gain, poison arrow. It's a horse that he has matched up with here tonight as Hemmon climbs aboard his horse. He won round number three here back on a Tuesday evening. One tough customer. He was a runner-up 2018 Australian saddle bronc riding champion. Had a big season in 2018. He attended over 80 rodeos for the rodeo season. Tim Hammond. Oh. Well, you do not see that too often. The champion from Tumbarumba and it's high gain. Poison arrow from the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company that dislodges a cowboy tonight. Once again, Holstead, the stock have come to buck. The cowboys have come to ride. And we see that man on the big screen here tonight gets absolutely <laughs> dislodged out hey. of that saddle tonight. <laughs> man. Hey, hey, pick up, man. This is a family <laughs> show. Hey, this is a family show. You want to do your shirt up? <laughs> Check out the pickup <laughs> man. It adds a little color to the show you, anyway. Hey, you know what there. I just noticed about the pickup <laughs> man? <laughs> oh, what? I got a six pack. <laughs> the pickup man has the whole keg. <laughs> hey, well, hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, come on out here. Oh, Holstead, you never cease to amaze me as we get set to go to J Jason Collins from Wagga Wagga in New South Wales. <laughs> and it is secret event in shoot number one tonight. How to stand up for your brother. Now, Jason split the round in round number two with his good friend Tom Kerr. Let's see what the jockey weight saddle bronc rider can do tonight. He's got a good one under him tonight in the competition. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what about the cool calmness of that boy from Wagga Wagga, New South Wales? <laughs> Jason Collins in secret event from the Rick Wilson Rodeo Company. <laughs> How you doing, Jake? I'm all right now. You just peed your <laughs> pants. I did hold my breath for a few... Oh few short five seconds but I'm right now you almost got run over you might as well throw those britches away no. they're staying forever it was just another day at the office you know oh yeah like you've had a lot of jobs Tolman taught me that you got it you've had a lot of jobs what am I saying 72 here tonight 72 points I can't say much I've only had one job in my whole life yeah rodeo clown no I was a model you what 
I'm kid you not. I used to be a model. You were a model. Yes, I was. I don't believe that. I'm serious. I was a model. What did you model? What did I model? Yeah. Socks. <laughs> Sexy socks. <laughs> Sexy socks. I don't Dennis know. I, hey, Dan, the I model. Just, I just made that up. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you are a rodeo clown. Okay. <laughs> you know what we need to do, Jake? What do we need to do? On this one, we're going to see how loud everybody can cheer when the gate cracks. Uh, sounds good to me. Okay. Everybody get ready. We're going to make as much noise as we can on this guy. All right. We're getting set to move to Cameron Webster, the newly crowned Australian okay, Saddlebrook grinding on, champion. everybody. And it is take me easy. Well. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, buddy, if we're cheering for you, you can't fall off. Well, I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you do not see that on a regular occasion. The newly crowned Australian national champion has been dislodged. Take a look, look, look at this on the big screen here tonight. Take me easy. Had him beat right out of the chutes here tonight. And once again, that is another stellar horse proudly brought to us by the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company. No score here tonight for Cameron Webster. Danny Holstead, the stock have come to town tonight. I know. I come back. I want to come back as one of Gil's bucking horses. Oh, they get the life, don't they? How long does a good bucking horse and bull hey, work for? Yeah, this is a true story. Yep. A bucking animal in rodeo only works two minutes a year. Yeah, you are right. That's all they work, yep. two minutes a year. That's right. That's a minute more than a rodeo announcer. <laughs> hey. We're going to go to John McNamee now, Holstead, the 2016 champion. It's fool's gold. This horse is one tough hombre, but the boy from Millmere in Queensland is up for the competition tonight. Oh, that is outstanding rodeo competition in our arena tonight. Johnny McNamee, he's one cool customer. And he's had a great week at the Sydney Royal Easter Show this year. Of course, he's won a round of the competition already earlier on this week. Numbers coming through tonight. 79 points. It'll be 79, the brand new leader. Good ride. Oh, outstanding. You know, okay. all, week, all week, though, buddy, the Cowboys, every, yeah, the Yeah, every stock. night it just steps up, steps up, steps up, and uh, the Cowboys and Stock are in prime tune tonight as we're going to Josh Barnett, the boy from Singleton in New South Wales. Cindy Starr is the horse that he has drawn here tonight. Here is Barnett that won round number five two nights ago. We've seen him compete earlier on this week in the World Championship Camp Draft. He's a great uh, saddle bronc rider, but when he's not competing in rodeos, he's one of Australia's leading camp draft riders. Josh Barnett, it's great to have him this year at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. Okay. And he's looking to surpass that score of 79 points set by Johnny McNamee. Uh-oh. Close uh -oh. the gate. Uh -oh. Close the gate. I know the problem. This horse works for the government. No, just kidding, just kidding. You know what the problem is? What's the problem? This horse likes a rowdy crowd. Yep. So when the gate cracks, everybody cheers, horse bucks, okay? Sounds good. Okay, I got the crowd ready, you get the cowboy. All right, Josh Barnett just takes those final preparations as he looks to uh, get a clean shot here tonight. As he looks to come back here tomorrow night in our championship round. Come on, everybody ready. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! That's it, get ready. All right, we're just about set to go down there in the Federation Challenge shoot number six. Uh-oh. What? Stop the show. We can't stop the show. Stop the show. No way. I got a major dilemma. <laughs> what? I just lost my gum. You lost your gum? Yeah. Well, I've got another packet. I've got a packet of gum in my pocket. I can lend you a piece. Or you don't you understand. This is a very special piece of gum. How could it be a special piece of gum? It's got my teeth in it. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. <laughs> Where's that pickup man? Now you're really you're starting to tell us how old you are. Holstead, losing your teeth. Hey, 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 hey. It's a lot. I'm not that old. <laughs> hey, before the rodeo, I seen you walking around in a pair of glasses. <laughs> yeah, I What's just, the go with that? Uh, just to see better. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Well. Union horse. Are you a union horse. Hey, yeah, so you're walking around in a pair of glasses. We've got a bit of time. Hey, don't be picking on me. <laughs> don't be picking oh, on my me. Team. You were picking on me when I was on top of the fence there and a big horse was coming straight towards me. That's all right. You've had a bad enough day already. Yeah, no, I'm, I've had it. 
Actually, you know what we need to do? What? You know what we need to do now because we got a bit of a break? Yep. Because we got so many people here tonight. Yes, we do. We need to try a sing-along. Sounds good. What do you think? I think it's a wonderful idea. I think these people would be great singers, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So, you want to try something? I think so, yes. Okay. Trevor, let's try something simple first, okay? Give us the hey-ho. Come on, everybody now. Okay, okay, that's not bad. Hey, that's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, now let's try a song. Give us a song, buddy. Oh. Try a song. Here we go. Okay, everybody knows this song. Everybody sings it. Here we go. Get ready. That's it. Come on. Not bad, not bad, not hey, bad. Hey, pretty good, isn't it? Okay, but we need one that everybody knows. Okay, so what do you choose? Uh, let's see. Sweet Caroline. Oh, let's yes. try Sweet Caroline. Yes. The classics, Holstead. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Everybody ready? Turn it up. Turn it up. Here we go. Sweet Caroline. Good times. I've been in class. That's not bad. Oh, very good. Okay, you know what we need to do now, though? What do we need to do now? Well, we did the adults. Yep. Now we need the kids. Sounds good to but me. But you know what? What's that? Okay, before we do the kids, yes. I want everybody to get your cell phones out and get ready. Because the last song, we're going to use our cell phones and flashlights. Okay? okay. But let's do a kids let's one. Let's do the kids first. Come on, do a kids one. Come on. Hey, stop <laughs> the music. Stop what? the music. What's wrong? There's more people singing that than Sweet Caroline. <laughs> if you're over the age of 35 years old and you know that song, you need to see a doctor. <laughs> okay. Let's do the last one, okay? This is with the uh, flashlight. Everybody turn your cell phones on flashlights. Everybody turn your cell phones on fly. Everybody, come on. Everybody get them on. This is going to be so cool. I'm going to record this and send it to Canada. Yeah, send it back to Canada. I'm sending this to Canada. Okay, give us a song. Have a look at that side. Turn it up. Here we go, everybody. Come on, one more time. Yes. Give yourselves a hand. Come Outstanding, on. Outstanding, Holstead. Eight times Canadian Entertainer of the Year, Danny Holstead, and it's a pleasure to have him here in Sydney once again this year as we get set to go with Josh Barnett. Well, we've uh, run another horse up for Josh here tonight in the competition. Now he takes on Young Gun from the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company. <laughs> Did you see the lights we just had on? Outstanding, wasn't it? Was that not the Unbelievable. coolest thing? Unbelievable. You'll have all the people back in Canada jealous. <laughs> I got to tell you. What? Aussies do it way better than the yeah, Canadians. Way better. way better. And plus, in Canada, you can't go, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! <laughs> See? You can't do that in Canada. No, I know that. Okay, Josh Barnett gets set, ready to go. Let's see what he can do tonight as he looks to chase down 79 points. Come on, Josh, let's keep riding tonight on this beautiful Good Friday in Sydney. And that is a great ride as Mr. Peter Kelly moves forward, puts him onto the arena surface safely. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and lay it on the New South Wales Cowboy. Oh, once again, these bronc riders have been so consistent in Sydney here this week. The stock, the Cowboys, it's all combinations for high scores and good times. 
68 points tonight for Josh. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, as that winds down the saddle, Bronk right in here tonight, Holstead. Big congratulations, John McNamee with 79 championship points here tonight. Congratulations, hey. John. Winner hey. in our semi finals. Yes, know, Holstead. You know what, Jake? What's that? Now, all joking aside, because we've been having fun. Yes. But you know what? What? This week, we went and did something that was pretty special. Yes. Me I, and the Cowboys. Yeah, you went on, what day was it? Tuesday. Monday and Wednesday. Monday and Wednesday. Or Thursday. Okay. Yep. But we went to the Children's Hospital. Yes. Have you ever been to the Children's Hospital? No, I haven't yet, no. Well, what? This is it, right? We went and saw the kids at the Children's Hospital okay, the other yep. day. And I'll tell you what, it was the coolest thing in the whole world. That's you down there on the right-hand side yeah, in the white chair, are. didn't it? Yeah. That's all our stuff at the hospital. Yep. And it was. Jake, I'm not, and that's all serious part. Yes. I'll tell you what, they were the coolest kids that you have ever met in your life. Yep. And I was fortunate the other night we got to bring That's one of right. them here. Yes, yes. There was and he a got to them. sit right here he and watch it. Sitting in the car there in center ring. But you know what else, Jake? What's that, Denny? Did you know that all the kids tonight, all the kids have it live streamed and they're watching it in the hospital? They're watching us on the live stream. They're all watching us in the hospital. So you know what we need to do? What do we need to do? What would it be like if 20,000 people said hi to all the kids in the children's hospital? It'd be an unbelievable feeling. Wouldn't that be cool? Outstanding. Okay, on the count of three, we're all going to say hello to the kids in the children's hospital. Are you ready? One, two, three. All you kids listening, that was 20,000 people saying good evening and hello to you. Simply superb. That Absolutely is so cool, buddy. Absolutely outstanding. Look at that. Those are cool pictures right there, buddy. They are beautiful pictures, aren't they, Denny? That's what life's all about right there. That's it. And we thank uh, yourself and all the professional cowboys, along with uh, Shelly Steger that went there to the uh, hospital throughout the course of the show this year. Well, as we are getting set now, we are moving into the main attraction here in our semi-finals here tonight in our Federation Rodeo Challenge. But... I need to ask each and every one of you out there a very simple question. What's that? Are you ready for bull riding? Hey, listen, Holstead, Come on. there's 20,000 people plus in the house tonight. Let's try that one more time. Sydney, are you ready for bull riding? Come on, put your hands together. Come on. We welcome back into our main arena here tonight for their second appearance in our Federation Rodeo. Of course, our Rodeo Protection Athletes, our Ringers West and West sponsored. Mr. Rodney Ray Mansell and, of course, Brody Moss, the two lifesavers that we will see here in our professional bull riding here tonight as we get set to welcome our first bull rider into main arena tonight. Here is a man from Upper Horton, New South Wales. This is Troy Wilkinson. Black Sand. It's a bull that he has matched up with here tonight. Here is a man that opened his week here in Sydney in great style. He won it. round number one, and he split round number three already this week. He is a 2015 Australian bull riding champion. Ooh. This guy knows what it takes to ride bulls on the biggest stage, not only here in Australia, but on the international rodeo circuit. Wilkinson, the hometown favourite here tonight in Sydney. Folks, he needs your support when the gate cracks. Let's be loud. Let's be proud for this New South Wales bull rider. The number one bull rider on the Australian rodeo circuit at this present stage. Let's do it tonight, Troy. Let's see what he can get Come done on, tonight. It's on. Black Sand, Wilkinson. Hey, look at this, folks. Oh, yeah. Step well, in. that is the reason why he has gone to number one on the Australian bull riding standings. That is Troy Wilkinson here tonight. I mean, that guy is simply superb, as we'll see it on the big screen here tonight. I tell you what, you find me an adjective that best describes that man. 
He is unbelievable. He is phenomenal. And he is simply awesome here tonight in Sydney. <laughs> phenomenal. 78 points is what the numbers come through tonight for Wilkinson in Sydney. He was phenomenal. You're making up your own words as we go here? Yeah, what? that's what that's what Tolman taught yeah. me. <laughs> hooked, on, hooked on phonics didn't work for you, did it, Jake? What's that? <laughs> hooked on phonics didn't work for you. <laughs> okay, come on, buddy. Well, as we're getting set to go. Who we got? We're going to get set to go to Kyle Maskill, the man from Longford in Tasmania. If you're here with us last night, he won the competition. Let's see what he can get done here tonight. It's Freak of Nature. Yo. Oh, my goodness. Over Mass here. Skill, a your, mother's a, your mother's a cow. Your sister's a heifer. The man that come off a big win here last night in the competition. Watch this on the replay. Just spits him out the back door. No score tonight in the semifinals for Kyle Maskill. Uh-oh. You better be careful out there, Holstead. I'm ready. Bring him over here. I got this. Yeah, hey, he's got a he big went. set of horns on him. He does. See that hump on his back? See that <laughs> hump? Yeah. That's the last clown he ate. <laughs> hey, what's the go with those horns on your head? Look at these things. They got horns. I got horns. <laughs> fair, fair play. Change. Okay, it's Cameron Southern, our next man in shoot number one tonight. The young teenager from St. George in <laughs> Queensland. This is better. Okay, well, here is a man that's already won a go-round here this weekend in our Federation Rodeo competition, and it is Party Animal. It's a bull that he has matched up with here tonight. Sounds a bit like you, Holstead. It Party what? Animal. <laughs> Could be slightly. <laughs> okay. We're getting set to go. 78 points. Wilkinson is our only score on the board. Let's see what this teenage sensation from St. George in Queensland, a little town that's situated about 130 kilometres north of the New South Wales-Queensland border. And it is Party Animal Southern. Let's see as the gates are back. It's showtime tonight. Uh oh. Hey, over here. And tonight. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Hey, go get him. Go get him. That is a big surprise. Southern coming off tonight here in our semifinals. The heck? What's the go with the helmet out there, Holstead? Don't you think it's a bit too late to be wearing a helmet in your career? <laughs> you know what, Jake? We don't agree on much, but you're right. Maybe this is a little too late. And you know what? What? This is the bull that hates rodeo clowns. Yes, this is the bull that hates rodeo clowns. This is turned down for what? Uh-oh, I got a good disguise. What could you possibly have in that barrel? He'll never recognize you me. You just keep popping things out of there each and every night you're in Sydney. <laughs> this will work. Well, this is turned down for what? <laughs> Casey Crawley was second here last night with a marking of 78 points. Man that's been to the National Finals Rodeo in Tamworth in January this year. 23-year-old bull rider that is starting to make big inroads in the sport of bull riding here in this country. And he is looking to come back tomorrow night for our championship round. Of course, we will knock two guys out of our competition here tonight. We'll narrow the field down to four here tomorrow night as they do battle for $80,000 in prize money. Ooh, hurry Ready up, to go. It's getting hard to breathe in here. Hurry up. Well, he's just about set as this bull tries to break his concentration. Now, the secret to bull riding, of course, is to get out of those metal chutes very quickly. You're in a dangerous situation in those chutes. So Crawley is looking to slide up on his hand here tonight and nod the head and waste no time. A quietly spoken young man that lets his riding do the talking. Kind of like myself. <laughs> Okay, let's see what the boy from Brankston can do tonight. Turn down for what? Well, that bull has been simply superb in Sydney here this week. Once again, proudly brought to us by the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company. And Crawley is a little shaken here tonight as he comes down in heavy fashion. Watch it back on the big screen here tonight. This bull, he's got plenty of moves and throws him to the outside of the spin, landing very, very hard on his head here tonight. 
But he is one tough customer. He is going to walk out here on his two feet, folks. How about a big round of applause for Casey Crawley tonight? Oh, yeah. Oh, what a fun night, eh, buddy? It's outstanding. These guys are awesome. What a great crowd. We're going to go to Rowan Markham. Shoot number four here tonight in our Federation shoot. This is Lucky Dip. Well, Markham come down here to Sydney for the first time this year and won Sunday night's competition. It was 84 points to win on Sunday night. A big six foot two bull rider from North Queensland is looking to take the spoils tonight in our semi finals. Watch Rowan Markham tonight. Well, that was not the way that the boy from North Queensland wanted to write the script. Brody Moss, Rodney Ray Mansell right there on the spot here tonight. And Markham is uh, down early here in our semi-finals. That is a big surprise. There is a man that has been on a roll in the last three months on the Australian rodeo circuit. But once again, the quality of livestock that we have on show here tonight dislodges oh. a big boy from North Queensland. All right. Well, hey. we're down to the final bull rider, Holstead. Hey, we're Trevor. A life is life. Give us some clapping. Come on, let's get him going. Last one. Come on. Come on, everybody. Come Here we on. go. We're going to go to Clint Glass from Atunga, New South Wales. And it is full throttle. It's a matchup tonight. Watch Clint Glass tonight. Come on, Clint. Here is the final bull rider. Come on, Sydney. Watch him on. ride. Come on. Come on, Sydney. Yes. Ah, simply superb tonight. Go ahead, lay it on him one more time, folks. Clint Glass. Ah, oh, Clint Glass, you never cease to amaze me. We welcome his father, Cameron, down here to the Sydney Royal Easter Show here tonight. He'll be certainly proud of Clint's efforts tonight on the back of full throttle as we wait the important numbers tonight from our professional rodeo judges. Well, it will be 77 points here tonight, 77. And once again, we say a very big thank you to Mr. Denny Holstead, eight times Canadian Entertainer of the Year. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as we wind down our Federation semi-finals, I have here with me the winner of the bull riding here tonight, Clint. 79 points was your official score from our two professional rodeo judges. Outstanding ride tonight. How does it feel to ride in front of 20-plus thousand people tonight? Oh, the atmosphere, it's amazing. And I was just happy to ride my bull, but take the win as a bonus. Well, I tell you what, mate, you are absolutely buzzing here tonight. It must uh, be good to have uh, Dad Cameron down here to cheer you on tonight. And uh, we're coming into the championship round tomorrow. This is the uh, big time now here in Sydney. Yeah, both mum and dad are here, and I always send arms up when they're here, so bring on tomorrow. Congratulations, Clint. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, big round of applause for the champion tonight. 79 points, Clint Glass. What a great athlete. Well, that will wind down our semi-finals here in our Federation Rodeo Challenge here tonight at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. Once again, on uh, behalf of the entire crew down here in Main Ring tonight, we thank you very much for enjoying our professional rodeo entertainment. Now, be back tomorrow night for, at 6.30pm for our Federation Championship Round to decide the winners of our Federation Rodeo Challenge for 2019. My name is Jake Smith. Have a wonderful night at the Sydney Royal Easter Show.